welcome or welcome back to my channel this is going to be another pregnancy diary at 38 weeks pregnant if you saw my previous pregnancy diary at 37 weeks then you know that 37 weeks was rough. I was not in a good space mentally. I was very exhausted. I talk about it more in my previous video. I will go ahead and link that down below. But today is the first day of my 38th week and I am determined to turn it around, to turn the mindset around and to make an active effort to finalize the little things that we have to get ready for the baby while also maintaining more of a positive outlook and trying not to be such a sad girl. <laughs> I had my prenatal appointment today, my 38 week checkup, and they were going to check how dilated I am. So the baby has dropped significantly more than last week, which is good, but I still have not dilated so we still have some time to make that happen but her heartbeat is good baby is healthy so we're feeling good about that in this video we have a lot of things a lot of things to take care of so i'm gonna go ahead and try to do as many as i can i really don't want to overdo it i've been nesting and one of the weeks i think it was my week 36 I just went overboard, I had so much motivation, so much energy, and at the end of my nesting week, I just felt very tired. So this week, I'm definitely going to try to space things out a little bit more, just because I don't wanna feel like I did at week 37 again. Okay, so we finally got a dresser for the nursery. I explained in my previous pregnancy diary that we had purchased a dresser for her, and when they shipped it, it was just in terrible condition. Condition. So we finally received our new dresser. My husband went ahead and built it out last night. It did take a while, but it's ready for me to start organizing all of her cute little clothes and accessories and just all of her cute little things in there. So I'm excited to go ahead and take care of that right now. And this is her dresser. I am now in the nursery. So I purchased this changing pad on Amazon. And I'm just gonna have it live here on her dresser so I can change her easily. I'm not entirely sure how I want to organize all of her little clothes. When I organize, it takes me kind of like going through the process to figure out how I want to lay things out. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of B-roll of me organizing her things until I end up at the final result. done organizing the dresser i am sitting on my rocking chair in the nursery it's really hard to tell it blends in with the wall because it's like an off-white beige color I like the wall <laughs> it's also the lighting is terrible in here i'm excited about nursing my baby on this chair soon but anyway let me show you how i organized the dresser okay so let's start from the top up here i basically put all of her little socks her bibs as well as all of her bows like her little accessories i'm thinking up here i might need to buy some of those divider organizer um contraptions but for now i like how they're in their own little category so it shouldn't be too bad this other side i thought it would be a good idea to have a bunch of these newborn 
onesies just because I'm sure she's going to live in these when she's a newborn and when we bring her back home. And I went ahead and put some of her little mittens here as well as some of her little booties and her tiny shoes. I am already out of breath. Now I'm gonna work my way down. So here's where I organized by sizes. So this is a zero to three months. And down here is the three to nine month items. So starting with the zero to three, here I put all of her full sized onesies that are zero to three months. And I also put all of her onesies that aren't full size, but they are still categorized all by the same size. Whenever I grab something from this drawer, it's going to be zero to three months. So most likely what she's going to wear initially, like fresh out the womb. Down here is the three to nine month. So I organized it in the same way. Over here are her full sized onesies and over here are the like short sleeve, no legged onesies. I don't know what you call them. She might be wearing these when she's a little bit older. I'm not sure how big she's going to be, but at least I know that these are all three plus months. Ugh, I'm so tired. <laughs> so I already showed you the top. Let's move on to the middle. Here I have all of her bottoms. These are all zero to three months. And I also have, I don't know what you call these, but they're like the long, one piece like they're not a onesie i mean i guess they're a onesie but i don't know what these are called anyway you get the point they are like these long dress articles of clothing <laughs> please let me know what these are called in the comment section so that's that here i went ahead and put all of her bath towels as well as her little washcloths hello <laughs> My lousy bug, I organized all her clothes. Uh, you gotta show me, you gotta break it down for me when I get home. So now I want to organize the top of the dresser. I do have two diaper change organizers. This is one of them. There is also this other diaper caddy organizer. I'm thinking this one, I might keep it in my bedroom because it seems like a little bit more portable. Okay, so she's all built out up here. This flat top says is to hold a wipe dispenser or a wipe warmer, which reminds me, I think I need to buy a wipe warmer. <laughs> so it also has these removable side bins just for extra storage. And it has this little contraption here for some diaper bags. And down here, of course, will be the diapers. <laughs> oh my God. <gasps> Look at how tiny these are. Look at my hand. My hand is bigger than this tiny diaper. I have this electric nail trimmer and I also have this little groom set. So I'm going to put some of her things in these little cubbies on the side. And I also have this electric nasal aspirator, so I think I might put that somewhere here as well. Okay, so let me show you how the nursery is looking so far. I want to focus just on this wall here because that's what I've been working on today. So the dresser we've already seen it organized on the top i'm gonna have her changing pad i have her little diaper organizer station here on the side little cubbies i have a diaper rash cream as well as some baby lotion some wipes and diapers of course diaper bags for trash here and then i have some brushes and combs for her here. So I definitely still have a lot of space to put in anything else that I may accumulate over time. And then for the little cart here, I decided to fill it with some of her little stuffed animals down here, some books and a little basket of toys that I have here. 
And up here I have just more uh, essentials like the electric nose aspirator as well as her little nail filer and her room set there. On this other side of the dresser is the trash can. So this is supposed to contain the smell within the trash can so that you don't smell her dirty diapers. So I'm thinking I definitely want to decorate this wall. I'm not sure with what yet. I do have the prints that I want to go ahead and add here. I bought these digital prints on Etsy and then we just bought frames for the prints. I really think those frames will look super adorable above the crib. So that means that I have to figure out what to do with this wall as well as with this wall, that little wall and over here as well. But that's not like a super priority. I think as long as we can put these prints that we already have up, it will definitely add some pizzazz to the room because we are still waiting for an area rug to arrive. It's super cute and pink. And I think that will also add a little bit more character to the room. Other than that, some things to set up in the nursery include the baby monitor as well as the air purifier. So I'm gonna have my husband do that. And I do have this mom cozy sound machine. So it's for white noise as well as like other nature noises and it does light up. I already connected it to my phone. So I can control this from my app. I can turn on the light. I can set the color of the light and I can have it play different noises. Other than that, we do have this piece of furniture here that my husband had built for me a long time ago. We do want to take that out of the nursery. We just don't think that it goes with the vibe that we have in here. So we're gonna move that out. So that will leave room for maybe a little table so that when I'm nursing here, like on my rocking chair, I can have a little table on this side. So as you can see, there are still some final touches that need to go into the nursery. But now that the dresser is in here and her clothes is organized and her little changing station is organized, I do feel like all of the priority items are taken care of. So if the baby were to come like right now, I already feel pretty content with the setup that we have. Everything else would just be, of course, extra pizzazz that we would like to add. But I definitely feel like we can fit the rest of it over the course of this week. We will see. <laughs> I definitely think the baby is gonna give us a little bit more time to continue working on her little nursery. I am now going to take a little break because it's been a while of me just situating this room and my husband and I are gonna go on a little evening walk because I need this baby to keep dropping and I need to start dilating within the next week. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little stroll with my husband. morning it is now the next day i slept in a little bit today because last night was rough last night was so rough only because i still have i've mentioned this before i have like this burning sensation on my skin like right under my my breast my right breast right under there like where my belly starts because the baby is growing so much these last couple of days and my skin is stretching, it's just causing so much burning right there. And last night, I just, no matter what side I slept on, it just hurt so bad. What I had to do because I felt so much like desperation was I just stripped down and that worked. I think it was the fact that there was pajamas were hitting, like there was a fabric hitting that part just agitated it even more and I was so like frustrated that I just stripped down I slept naked and it all went away so <laughs> anyway I went ahead and got ready I am just wearing one of my husband's like really soft 
shirts that he disc golfs in because I can't wear anything like I can't wear a bra because it touches that part I'm just really going through it you know the discomfort but I'm gonna go ahead and fix myself a little breakfast so I can have some energies for this morning <music> So I made myself a fully loaded toast here with cheese, egg, ham, and avocado because I am just so hungry this morning. I'm gonna eat this, get some energies, and then I am going to work on a couple of things. I will go ahead and talk to you guys later. So I've been deep in my productivity session and one of my friends that lives in New York, actually, she sent me a cute little Uber Eats surprise. She sent me some ice cream bars. I already opened it. I already ate one because I couldn't wait. Some chocolates. I'm holding myself back from having these until after lunch. And some cookies. This was just the best thing to receive to my doorstep. I feel so blessed that this entire pregnancy, I've had people just checking up on me, checking in, taking care of me in so many different ways. I am truly grateful for everyone that has shown up for me in this pregnancy. And honestly, I just wanna say, if you have any pregnant friends, reach out to them because it is quite a roller coaster of an experience and it just means the world to receive gestures like this it honestly like it made my entire day i feel so loved and yeah i just wanted to come on here to share that Target, Home Goods, or TJ Maxx. All of them, or one of them, I'm not sure, to look for some items for the nursery. Time to put this new car seat in my car, and then we're gonna put this other car seat in my husband's truck. Car seat is all installed and ready in my car. Time for the one that goes in my husband's truck. <laughs> oh, there. It clicked. Yeah, maybe we do need bigger cars. <laughs> All done. tell by these eye bags <laughs> it was another rough night i think this is just how it's gonna be for a while because it's only gonna get worse when the baby comes since we're gonna have to figure out the sleep situation with their little baby i think the main issue right now aside from my tummy burning because it's stretching is that my hips just hurt so so much because you're supposed to sleep on your sides and because i've never been this heavy <laughs> no matter what side i sleep on it just puts a lot of pressure on my hips and i just wake up with so much pain on my hips i was talking to a friend and i was telling her that my pregnancy 
like first and second trimester were so easy that if I need to have a couple of weeks of a bad time with my pregnancy, I'm okay with that. It's better than the whole experience having been a bad experience, you know? And even right now in the third trimester, it's not bad like during the day. It really is only bad at night. I can live with that. I know sometimes women at this point of pregnancy, I'm 38 weeks at this point, women are tired of it. I don't think I'm at that point yet. I really am trying to embrace every moment, even with the pain and just live in the moment rather than trying to speed up this process. So I really am trying to mentally not think in that way, although I understand why some women do. Because again, some women just have more intense pregnancies than I have experienced, and that's completely understandable. In terms of my mental state, I mentioned in my week 37 pregnancy diary that week 37 was just not a good mental week for me. I would say this week I am feeling much better way better i explained in my last video why i think i was feeling just so down all the changes that come with pregnancy both physical emotional mental everything but i was also thinking that another reason i may just be feeling a little bit off is that we hadn't been going to church the last like two to three weekends and I also realized I haven't been listening to my morning devotionals just because this whole sleep schedule thing has me a little bit messed up and I usually did it in the mornings. My mornings have been so rough with me trying to recover from bad nights that I wasn't listening to my morning devotionals. And that was such a part of my routine. Like I did it every morning. So it would help me just reconnect with God, reconnect with myself, have a moment to reflect on my thoughts and the fact that everything's going to be okay. I didn't have that for the last week and a half. So I really think that regaining that routine is going to just help me feel better so yeah i think that is also what i am going to do this morning i am going to listen to a morning devotional good morning good morning how are you rejoice in every single moment you have under the sun in this cosmos in this arrangement my conversation over the weekend with my sister she started like reading the word and it opened up and it just started manifesting in her life and you could see this huge change and you could see her, I don't know, like the shell coming off, the softness coming in. In my life, I wanted a big business, but that was the external manifestation. It's incredible to me how much God knows your heart. God knows what you actually want. There's so many people that have everything yet have nothing. If you don't have the power to enjoy the thing that you're doing, to enjoy the thing that you're working for, you've got to change your life. It's not just about work. It's not just about the thing pursued. It's about receiving that thing when you receive to actually enjoy it for what it is. Verse 3, if a man beget a hundred children and live many years so that the days of his years be many and his soul be not satisfied with good and also that he have no burial, I say, an untimely birth is better than he. Wow, that devotional was exactly what i needed to hear i already feel so much better it's incredible what a couple of minutes like literally five seven minutes did to my mentality this morning so this morning some of what the podcaster got into is that we're never going to be satisfied as human beings like we're always going to be seeking more like whether it's more money more respect more prestige more of whatever it is with which at the end of the day is vanity and we need to learn how to just be happy and enjoy the fruits of our labor enjoy what we work so hard for enjoy just the day-to-day -day. and i feel like i've just been stuck on that loop these days just focusing on the future focusing on what's to come focusing on the labor and then freaking out about the labor rather than just you know labor is going to come when it comes and i'm going to deal with it how i deal with it in that moment i'm going to be strong enough to deal with it i just have to stop thinking about it obviously i can prepare for it i can watch videos but at the end of the day, I cannot psych myself out. I need to connect with the fact that my body is designed for this. My body knows what to do. The baby knows what to do. 
so many women in the past have done this have given labor and so many more women will continue to give labor in the future i'm not the first i'm not the last and additionally i feel like i have been stressing out about finances because i don't know like people say it's expensive to have an, a baby and i've just been stressing out so much about everything and i have to remind myself like we're okay financially like what we have right now is more than enough we have an abundance of love we have an abundance of people that can help us we have what we need and even if we don't have what we need right now we're gonna have it down the line like god will provide things will be okay because up to this point in my life things have been okay even in my darkest of moments when i'm just at my lowest of lows eventually things are okay and I need to just keep connecting with that mentality so that I can enjoy truly and fully enjoy these last phases of my pregnancy, really enjoying every single day, enjoying the teamwork that it takes for me and my husband to even like have a house situated and ready for our baby, to enjoy resting, to enjoy being here in the quiet moments before the storm, before the baby's here crying our ears out. And then once that moment comes, once she is here and once she is an infant, enjoy those phases of her freaking out because she's in this new world not in my womb anymore enjoy every single day every single moment we know this we hear this all the time but it's the simplest things that we honestly have to be reminded of that is what the word spoke to me today and i feel so good like that is what i needed because ultimately at the end of the day everything else will be fine so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and make myself a little breakfast and have a little bit of a productivity session and i will talk to you guys later her rug for the nursery just came in the mail i'm gonna go ahead and open it and hopefully it's what we think it looks like <laughs> It is so cute. It is a little area rug and my husband picked it for her, which I think is adorable. I am in love. Hello, it is now the start of a new week. It's Monday. I am 38 weeks and in five days, so almost at 39 weeks. And today I've just been taking it slow and easy. I've been resting a lot. I actually woke up a little bit late. I slept in because I really couldn't sleep last night. Baby was very active and actually I started experiencing more cramping, slight contraction feeling feeling it was more than a cramp like they lasted a little bit longer they weren't like labor contractions or anything like that but i think it's just my body preparing for labor in about a week or so it was nice to sleep in and kind of recover from a crazy night i also went ahead and just basked in the sun outside it was just really nice to look at the butterflies and get some sun and yeah other than that i've been cleaning the house like it was already clean but just folding some laundry i I put in a new load probably hear that in the background wasn't necessary like we just washed this weekend but i literally want my hampers to be empty like it's just this feeling of i want everything to be clean before i go into labor so my husband and i can just focus on the baby and it's this whole nesting vibe that i've been having for the last couple of days and weeks actually i also want to share that i've been watching gilmore girls and it's just been so nice to relax on the couch watch this show which i'm actually really loving additionally i want to share that this weekend we went over my mother-in-law's house and she gave me a bunch of little clothes that actually used to be my husband's and i cannot express how much this warms my heart like the fact that my husband wore this when he was a tiny little baby like i just get like this fuzzy warm feeling inside of me that makes me get emotional to know that soon my baby's gonna be wearing something my husband wore over 30 years ago. That's just crazy to me. She also gave me a bunch of little blankets and pillowcases that she made for my husband when he was tiny. This is just so like, 
the perfect thing you can give me. Look at this adorable matching little blanket to go with the tiny pillowcase. And she gave me like just a bunch of little blankets that she sewed herself when she was expecting my husband and when he was a baby. This other blanket, so she just replaced the ribbon, she said, for my husband when he was a baby. She had a white ribbon, so she just swapped it out for a pink one for our baby girl. More cute little blankets that used to be my husband's, but now with replaced pink ribbon. And she made a couple of these fleece blankets that just feel so soft and so warm, and they have pink seams. She made sure to sew them with pink seams for our baby girl. And these are so soft and perfect because she will be born during the colder months so it's like the perfect material i'm just so happy right now like you do not understand how excited i am to see her just wear these things and use these things knowing that my husband did so as well at one point in his tiny little life <laughs> How adorable is this little tea set that I bought her? I thought it would be a great idea to just have this for down the line when she can play with it and for now use it as decor to sprinkle all over her nursery. So I'm excited to go ahead and do that right now. So I am going to be ending my week 38 video here. I am officially 39 weeks pregnant tomorrow and the next time I post a video on YouTube, I will be a mom, which is so crazy to say. It's like so surreal. We have prepared things in the home as much as we can. I am sure there are some things we're still missing and I am sure there are some things we have that we won't even need, but that will be our own journey of learning and going through this new chapter of parenthood. I thank you so much for being part of this journey if you watched the last couple of pregnancy diaries it has been a roller coaster these last couple of weeks in terms of what i've been feeling physically emotionally spiritually everything but i can definitely say that i am just only excited and blessed to be entering this new chapter of motherhood of parenthood and i cannot be more excited and i honestly I'm ready for it. I know that everything will be okay because every day is getting me closer to my baby girl. So yeah, next time I see you, I will have my little angel here at home with me. And yeah, <laughs> okay. I will see you in the next video. Bye.